Next up. Whoa! At UF- whoa! 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 <laughs> He's very pale. Whoa! Next was up. That a flashbang at- that just went off. <laughs> Holy shit! Next you gotta up. tone that down a little bit. There's all. I mean, there's color correction in Photoshop. <laughs> I don't know how to use any of that shit. Holy shit! Let's, I mean, I imagine when you look into a mirror, oh, here it's we go. somewhat similar. Low hanging I, fruit there. I, you're making go fun ahead. of somebody's pale white skin, and here I you don't are. Look like that. Put your face close to this picture. You're brighter than Okay, that. yeah, let me turn off this light and watch what happens. <laughs> oh, so sitting in the dark. If you sit in the dark at 8 o'clock at night, you're not as bright white as Mick Park. That's what you're trying to tell me? Look how tan I am now. <laughs> I bet you are. It's pitch black in there. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. Anyway, we got Mick Parkin taking on Jamal Pogues. Mick Parkin, 6 0. He's undefeated. Young in his career, but he is undefeated. He's making his official UFC debut. He's taking on Jamal Pogues, 10 and 3. 4 and 1 in his last five, riding a three fight win streak. Somebody just called you the pink salamander. That's solid. Anyway, Someone, Mick Parkin, someone said, this guy's cracking jokes while he has cost a bunch of people money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's... Weird out, dude. Well, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to fucking just make a joke because I fucking lost a bet or two. I gotta sit here lost, and just be like... Oh, oh. And, you lost, and you lost your own bet. It's not like you invested somebody else's money. You're not Bernie Madoff. You're uh, radio. Because he's... Short bus. Anyway, Mick Parkin is a good size heavyweight. He does a great job slowing the pace, taking these fights, just bringing them down to a lull. He's going to come forward. He's going to throw big one twos. Then he's going to get a hold of you and take away your sting, take away your striking, take away basically everything you have, slow it all down, and then try to work in the take that. He does have solid BJJ. He will shoot his shot on submissions and actually impressively so for a heavyweight. Uh, he'll he'll start to wrap things up and try to make something happen that you really typically wouldn't see a six foot six, two hundred and sixty pound guy try. Um, he's gonna wrestle more than most heavyweights, and that's what really keeps him out of trouble. He's taking on Jamal Pogues. Jamal Pogues is a busy heavyweight. He always is doing something. He's always throwing something. He's got solid volume, a decent pace. He doesn't have like that big one punch power that you sort of expect, but you can rely on his pace. He can grapple as well. His first contender series fight, he had seven takedowns. And on the regional scene, he has a whole bunch there as well. He's not super dangerous, especially not at heavyweight, but he does set a really nice pace and he can work Anyway, he's coming off that win over Josh Parisian, where he had five takedowns, six minutes of control time. Unfortunately, we finally get a heavyweight fight. It's been a few weeks. This is going to be a boring heavyweight fight. Yeah, this, this is going to be a boring fucking, heavyweight fight. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And it's not like, like Jamal's fight against Josh wasn't very boring, but Mick's style is like, let's slow this whole thing down. I'm going to lumber forward. He's almost like a Ben Rothwell without the big Ben Rothwell punches, right? Just come forward, lumbering, slow it all down. I think he's going to look to do that, but I still trust Jamal's pace. I trust Jamal's pressure. I think Jamal's going to get it done. Um, You know, I just don't trust the takedown defense. And, you know. Who are you picking? Jamal's the pick, and I, what I was trying to say there is, I, sorry, I've been up since three in the morning. What I was trying to uh, say there is, here we go. Fucking, Jamal's. You want to get it all out now? Let's hear all the excuses. Go ahead. I'd love to. No, Jamal's definitely the pick, but the only reason I'm going to fade bets here is I don't necessarily trust his takedown defense, and Mick can just big boy lean on him and try to work a takedown, and you know how heavyweights is very hard for him to get back up. So Jamal is the pick. This is another line movement I completely agree with, flipping from underdog to favorite. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with the line movement as well. If I, I, I wish I would have seen that plus 150 because I would have been all over it. I'm, I'm real close. The, the, literally, the only thing keeping me from putting a bet on Jamal Pogues in this fight is because it's a heavyweight fight. And I know that this is probably going to be a, I don't want to say a close fight because I think that Jamal can get the takedowns and get the control. Mick, it, to me, is as you mentioned, just kind of plots forward. The stand-up looks, I mean, super slow. And Jamal is a good striker as well. He will mix in a takedown or two, but don't make it seem like he is a look, just all-in wrestler. He will stand. He will throw that head kick he yeah. will strike and i think he can definitely outstrike this guy and if he needs to wrestle he can wrestle but 
you know, Mick is a, a big guy, you know, and I think he can stay safe on the ground. And all of a sudden, if he gets one sweep late in a round, now all of a sudden he won that round because I don't think that Jamal is going to do a whole lot on top as far as like posturing up and chasing submissions and stuff like that. I think it's just going to be a lot of just control. And uh, I think he definitely can get that. I'm pretty confident in him in this pick. But, you know, to put my money on it right now, it's like heavyweights, man. You know how that goes. I, I hear you. And they're not heavyweight slingers. It's not heavyweight like here comes the big power. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I agree with the line movement. So does Jacob. Jamal Pogues is the pick. $7,300 to $8,900 in DraftKings. Full fade. Not touching DraftKings. Not touching bets. I do have plenty of other bets, though. I actually have more out-of-the-gate units on this than I do on most cards, honestly. There's a lot of spots I really, really liked. If you want to unlock mine, Jacob's, and everything else we do, we want picks.com. You've even got bets for next week already. Isn't that silly? I do have bets for next week already. UFC 2 91 couple you of comments tell them we're gonna go live too so you oh you agreed put, well yeah. i don't think i, I have much you choice you might as well just fucking tell them now we're gonna be doing ufc 291's breakdown on sunday night live because i have to travel monday tuesday wednesday and sunday's the only night it's gonna work so this amazing video will be sunday night live we'll get the graphic up we'll get that scheduled join us sunday Sunday, 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 Sunday. Are you ready for some football? No, the first Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Isn't that Monster Trucks? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I don't know. That's the Monster Trucks. I think everyone knows that little tune. I have no idea what's from. Yeah, I think it's Monster Trucks. I spent all my Sundays in church. I don't know about you. (laughs) You need church, dude. You need church. Anyway, oh, Gucci doesn't. Gucci's out here. Oops. Oh, my God. He turned your camera no, no, off. I clicked the wrong button. I did it. Gucci's out here doing God's work because people were trashing you for the lock of the week, which is 100% free. You do not need to be Guys, it's 100% anymore. free. I try my best. Last week, only one dog won. What do you want <laughs> from me? I mean, it's a free. I just do it. I, I put so much time into those videos. Can you guys just show a little bit of appreciation for everything I do for the lock of the week? I do my fucking best. I'm not. I, I, they're supposed to. Every time I make a pick, they're supposed to fucking lose. They're an underdog, okay? And I'm still at fucking like 18 units. I, I was when I try my best. I but, do. I um, do. I literally. If it, this week, is, I'll be honest. This week, it's like fuck it. You guys want to have? You want to have some fun? You want to keep losing? <laughs> Let's keep fucking I'll losing. Honest. All right. You want to have some fun? We'll paint our face. We'll have some fucking fun with it. But you, I mean, I'll try my best. What do you think? I'm not losing on fucking purpose. Everyone's like, who you gonna play? But it just. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, Gucci. I appreciate Gucci. Gucci, because you ended up up money, as did I. Even though your lock of the week was just. <laughs> Um, no, I'm B train asked if I'm traveling for vacation. No. His whole life is a vacation, baby. You seen that family? Beautiful family. You saw saw that kid crying (laughs) behind the glass. Every day is a fucking paradise here. (laughs) Why do you think he drinks so much? He's always on vacation. People think I'm a straight up alcoholic because of you. And then I lean into it. I join your, this is what happened. Here's a quick peek behind the Jacob whiny bitch window. On Saturday, I hop into the live stream. Saturday, I finally got my brother-in-law sat down. Him and I sat down. We watched 90% of the fights. It was great. I don't normally get to watch every single fight. We're watching the fights, hanging like out. It. I'm not even really drinking. And Wait, I hop into the live stream. What is not even really drinking? That's at least six. Like a glass of wine or two. <laughs> that, like that's at drink. least six. I know what I'm not really drinking means. No, Friday, Friday I drank. Saturday, I, I really didn't. Oh, we door. kicked it. <laughs> Still hurting for Friday. Anyway, we um, were watching the fight. I hop in the Jacobs live stream. Every time I hop in, I can be like, hey, guys, good luck. Jacobs like, ooh, good luck. Like, stupid voice, acting like a turd. I, I would never, I would never it immediately you in annoys any way. me. It immediately annoys me. And then, uh, so then the I just. The first thing you ever it. say is always like, like you've lost mean. every bet. You've lost every. It's like, no, now I have to explain no. to the fucking stream. No, Literally, it's, Saturday night, I was up like two and a half units at one point during the prelims. You came in and were like, yo, how's it feel no. losing every single bet? So I had to pull up my fucking premium bets and be like, no, it's not fucking losing. What are you That's doing? That's not what happens. I always show up with positivity. I'll be like, oh, lock of the world. Yeah. Safety parlay just won. This just won. And he's like, you're like, Angelo says. Like all fucking stupid like that. I don't use stupid voices. And then it pisses me off. And then I start yelling at people. And then on Sunday, I have to get because you have no control. That's why it makes you mad. Because you can't immediately rebuttal like this. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You're worried that somebody's, they're just going to hear you and not see your text. Angel just. 
So then, so then Sunday, Jacob's all in his feels because lock of the week absolutely fucking sucked and you guys got under his skin. So then huh? I'm getting angry text messages from Jacob. What a poor experience when you come into the lock of the week, <laughs> the live stream. Oh, man. Is that not what happened? Can we I be said transparent that you, I said that you, get in, you go in the chat and you try to hijack the stream. Yeah. You try to make it all about you. That's not what happens. That's not what that happens. Literally you, is what happens. You okay, come in anyway. all hot and horny. <laughs> Looking for a man. <laughs> some guy was like, hey, some guy was like, hey, don't mean. I literally think that he worded it this way. Hey, guys, don't mean to bother, but do you happen to know if the AI picked, and I can't know what, what fight it was, and Angela was like, you would know if you weren't a broke bitch. <laughs> it's like, wow, wow. And that guy's like, oh, sorry, man. <laughs> like, Jesus. Because I'm just used to, because they feed off your energy. You start jumping down my throat for no reason, and then it's a whole stream of yeah, like, they'll fucking go after you. Dad. Yeah, they're here. They're there get for me, here, not you, Dad. asshole. <laughs> yeah, sorry for hopping in. Absolute. Don't Let's let it happen see. again, please. <laughs>